Hi guys, this is Sonic from the Surge Network. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set your user profile to another drive or partition within Windows. As you can see, I'm using Windows 10, but this will also work in Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. Now, I'm going to keep this tutorial very quick, um, so I'm just going to get through the video, but if you need any in-depth information on this, and why this is beneficial, and why it works, and why that I prefer this over the system prep tutorial, um, please um, go to the Tumblr blog where I'll be detailing this a lot more. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to start and I'm going to type in reg edit. Click enter. Click yes to make changes to the PC. I'm going to head over to HK Local Machine, go to software, go to Microsoft, scroll down to Windows NT, go to current version, and then you can come down to profile list. And as you can see, for Profiles Directory and Public, they're both set to System Drive. And as you can see, Users, obviously then Users Public. And in File Explorer mode, if I go to Local Disk C, which is where Windows is always installed, to Letter C, you can see Users, Public, and Start User. And of course, Start User here. And I've called it Start User just to make the tutorial easier to follow. Um, we want to move our User Profile to E. Now we could just literally copy and paste this, but that's not going to work because I've already tried it, and it just basically it basically corrupts your user profile, um, and it basically locks up this entire taskbar. It just doesn't work. Now to get around this, we're going to change the default location of where profiles are made. So we're going to replace system drive with E, which is obviously the E drive, and then do that one do public. And that, that one done. And now, when I make a new profile, it will now go to my E drive. And of course, if I come out of this, go to Start, go to Settings, go to Accounts, go to Family and Other Users, add someone else to this PC, and then I'm going to click uh, Don't have this person's information. I'm going to make a local account, so we're going to click Use without a microphone. Uh, Microsoft account and in this example I'm going to call it user1 and I'll come out of this and I'll go to start go to it here and I'm going to switch user and now of course once I log in I'll now start creating my profile on the E drive obviously once this is done we're going to copy some files across from our start user account onto our new user and then of course we're going to delete the start user account and I'll be going through that in a sec because it's a bit complicated almost done now just the last bit of text to come up and say it says let's start I think I remember rightly here we are right so if I go to file explorer and go to this PC you can see it's used up some of my storage and you can see users public and user one now obviously if you did an in-place upgrade from a v early version of windows or something for example and you're like a family of four for example as well um, in here you'd have obviously all of your users go away onedrive that's the one thing that does annoy me no pun intended uh, excluding public you'd have all of your users for your family listed here and obviously each every if every profile is going to have documents in there so in my case I've got something on the desktop which are two files a text document and an image if I remember rightly uh, which are these two so I'm going to copy them which is control C or we can go to home and you can go to copy which is there go back to this PC go back to our new location and if you pay attention to up here underneath the recycle bin, you will see it's properly located. So if I paste them, you can see they're there. And if I click in the address bar, you can see it's now actually going to the E drive. Now, once obviously you've copied all the um, files across from your old profile, which is on your C drive, to your newly uh, created profiles, which does take a long time if you've got more than one user. I mean, it might obviously in my case, I've only got one user, so this is actually really quick. Um, you now need to go back and delete the um, start user account. Now at the moment, user one is only a standard account. So to do that, we're going to have to go back into 
start user so I'm going to sign out completely and we're going to now make uh, user one an admin so to do that we're going to go back into start user because he's an admin already and go to settings go to accounts family and other users and you can see it's listed as a local account we're going to change the account type we go to administrator click OK and now of course we can sign up this account entirely because obviously we don't want to be logged in while we try and delete it otherwise we'll just throw errors back at us uh, and then we we'll go to user 1 click sign in we now log in as an administrator so we'll go back to start go to settings go to accounts family and other users and you can see it's listed there click remove delete account go away gosh root does annoy me delete account and data and in fact sometimes um, it does actually physically de delete it from here which it has uh, which is good sometimes you have to do a full restart of the um, PC and then obviously you can come back in here obviously click your uh, folder and you can do shift delete which comes up with this message you know to permanent delete or if case in this case you just go to the home tab go to delete click on the down arrow and click permanently delete um, obviously once you've done that you've got everything in its new located place everything is back on its place and any new user accounts you now make will be obviously in there and obviously whatever they're called will be in there obviously I could go back into local disk C and essentially delete this which I don't think it's going to let me I can try yeah I'll come up with this but obviously that's not really important you can just delete I mean oh look it's completely empty now you just keep that there I mean you can delete this but I'll have to leave that for another tutorial because it's obviously this video will get longer and longer but uh, that is basically it guys um, if you found this helpful please give the um, video a like if you have any questions or you stuck on anything leave a comment and if you like to see any more tutorials and quick tips um, subscribe to our channel thanks for watching guys peace out